welcome to uh, Lacroix Manufacturing Site. It has been our manufacturing site uh, since more than 10 years. Uh, it, it was a former uh, Ruggeri uh, site. Uh, we do all the development, manufacturing uh, of uh, our products, uh, products uh, for uh, land, naval and airborne applications, uh, as well as uh, system development and uh, system uh, assembly. Uh, for uh, land and uh, naval platforms. We have uh, 350 employees, uh, third of which uh, being uh, research and development, a third of which uh, uh, production, and the rest uh, support and uh, uh, sales and marketing and support. So on this side, uh, we have uh, chemists who are able to uh, develop new uh, composition uh, from uh, raw material to uh, the uh, formula of uh, the composition. They, um, they invent uh, the formula, they test it, they characterize uh, the effect, and then uh, it ends up uh, being an uh, in infrared composition, uh, provided uh, it has the, the desired uh, performance. Then the next step is uh, to industrialize uh, this composition. Um, we have uh, dedicated uh, buildings for that and then it gets uh, into uh, the production uh, department uh, that is in charge of uh, producing in larger quantities uh, the uh, infrared compositions. We do all the testing of our composition on the, this manufacturing site, testing for uh, development purposes, uh, characterization and uh, production uh, purposes. The wind tunnel uh, is used for uh, very precise measurements of infrared performance. Uh, we ignite the flare in the wind tunnel and we can measure precisely uh, the radiation in uh, all infrared bands, duration of the uh, combustion and the uh, wavelength uh, of uh, radiation. We witnessed uh, MTV flare testing uh, being uh, magnesium, teflon and uh, viton uh, composition used for uh, older generation of uh, manpads. Speed rail is used uh, for a closer to real life uh, testing. The, the high speed rail goes up to uh, fighter aircraft airspeed, which is 500 knots. And you have uh, witnessed uh, trials at uh, transport aircraft speed of spectral flares. We do those tests uh, at night because uh, the radiation uh, of uh, the flares are very low in uh, band uh, one, and it uh, would be a problem to uh, measure it uh, by day. So we do it at night.